Hello and welcome to a new Blender tutorial. Today I want to do some wigging with you and it's about a multiple part piston like you can see here. You can move it around and it works as expected. So let's get right started. I don't want to waste your time. So find new general and I'm gonna turn on my screencast keys so you see something. I delete the default cube. Then I add mesh cylinder and I'm gonna go to edit mode, select all, G set, hold control and move this guy up. Then I'm gonna select the top here, tap I, S.1. Then I'm gonna do the same here, I, S.1. Then I'm gonna shift select. And now both are selected. And now I go to Edge, Bridge Apps Loops, and I got this. Okay, now I'm gonna do Shade Smooth because it looks a lot more sexy. And I'm gonna turn on Auto Smooth. And then I double this and GZ Hold Control, and I have a perfect fit here. And then I say A, S, Shift Z and make this smaller. I'm gonna repeat this by Shift D, Z, hold control, got a perfect fit, and A, S, Shift Z, hold Shift, that it fits like this. Yes, that's enough, and now I'm gonna add the armature. So, add armature. Now we don't see something, but uh, we can help this by do this in front. And I'm going to turn on the names. And now I do RX90 and then GY and move this a little bit on the side. Tap to edit mode, EZ. And I'm going to do this in the side view, GZ, so I see that it fits a bit, EZ again, and EZ again, and EZ again. The last guy here we call controller, and the guy before, gonna call IK for inverse kinematic. And then we add constraint inverse kinematic, turn this chain length to 4, target is armature and bone is controller. In the controller we go to the edit mode and we delete the relation so it does not have a parent. We change IK, inverse kinematics, IK stretch to 1 and turn these on. Same we do here, we lock this and turn this on. And for the last one, we do the same. And if we move this guy now, you see that's exactly what we wanted. So these uh, three guys st stretch here and it follows the, my rotation. We go to edit mode and we add here E, Y, another bone. And here the same, E, Y, another bone and here EY another bone. And the bone, this is a trick now, does not inherit the scale. So we say here none. And we say here none. And we say here none. And you see if you now move this guy in post mode, they won't be scaled. And this is what we want. So this we are not scaled. So what we do now, we parent this, we parent this guy to this bone, we parent this guy here to the, that bone, and we parent this guy here to this bone. And if you move now, you see, this is what we wanted. So we have a perfect piston here with multiple parts. Hope you learned something. Have fun. Bye. 